What's going on everybody? So what you're looking at right now is me getting the last part to complete the Mike Vick set. Obviously I don't got the boss. I, I Listen, I have no pack luck, but I've been waiting on this 2006 collectible for like maybe a week, dog. I had everything else. And um, you know, somebody finally put it up for something that I could afford and um, not being a douche and putting it up for more than what the actual boss card is. Like guys are so stupid. I don't think they realize that EA changed it so you can't see who's listing it so that people can write you and then you scam them. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So they, they need to just stop that because there's no way that anybody could tell that you have it up unless they're your friend and they tell you that they post it. Because that was that, that was very, very smart by EA to do that. You know, because a lot of young kids were getting, you know, uh, spammed if they posted a card. They're like, yo, bro, yo, I'll give you this and I'll give you that. And then you know what they got. You know what I'm saying, bro? And it wasn't the card, though. So, you know, that's a good part, a good, good, good thing by EA to stop uh, showing the gamer tags and letting people be able to try to, you know, spam and... Not, well, not spam, but scam. Scam is the proper word. And uh, so it's not like they're not making better attempts to stop the scamming. It's just like I said, um, the gameplay has not been as good as it has in the past. Pretty much is what the problem is, man. Else, like I said, man, I'll be buying packs. And this, yo, if this, if this, if this same game, right, had Madden 25 gameplay, I'll be buying packs in my sleep because it was something that you know I wanted to play. Like I really wanted to play it, and even when I lost. I wasn't frustrated. As much as I hate to lose, I wasn't frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, okay, you really made a bad play. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I, I, you know, whatever I did, I did something wrong, whatever like that. But this gameplay is just outrageous, man. If you guys, ah, uh, man, if you guys are new to the channel, please check out some of my, my previous Madden 16 vids, um, more of the more recent ones, so you guys can understand where I'm coming from, man. Um, I, I just can't anymore. We're gonna go ahead and put all these things in here. We're gonna get our 5,000 coins, and then we're gonna go ahead and go play the solo to get Mike Vick, and then um, we're gonna see what Mike Vick has to offer in future games. I've, I've used them already uh, online, I believe, didn't I? I think, have I used Mike Vick online yet? I don't know, I probably haven't uh, since I got him. I think the last time that I streamed, I had Matthew Stafford, and he had 99 throw power too, so it, it, you know, it didn't really matter, but with Vick's speed, it's a little bit different. You know, if dudes come out playing that Grandpa Nutsack D, I could actually run for a lot more yards and possibly go for six with um you know with ultimate vic so it is what it is man uh we're gonna see what we could do with it uh we're gonna go ahead and go into the solo real quick and like i told you guys don't be intimidated like a lot of people have been giving me um you know thank yous and stuff like that it, it, you gotta find a play that works against the computer early in the year because if you're gonna grind solos out if, you, if you're a guy that grinds solos out you gotta have plays that are one hit wonders you gotta have plays that always work and um you know, inside zone is that kind of play. You just need to put some real stout blockers in and just run the ball, man. You don't have to worry about, you know, too much. But like all this stuff right here, all this extra cinematography and, you know, guys jumping up and down and crap like that. This is what makes it long. But as far as the game going itself, put on two clock, run inside zone and call it a day. It, it, it's not difficult to do it regardless of your skill level because the computer just let, they just get blocked. Like inside zone is so specifically perfect. You would not realize, bro. Like. Like, why is it in the game? Like, it's it's that ridiculous. So, just run it. And I'm pretty sure you've seen it. If you watch streamers play, uh, a lot of guys run inside zone, strong power. It works, the it works the same way, if not better, against the computer. So, just do that instead of complaining about the computer beating you all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the computer's going to do crazy things to me. And yes, on all Madden, depending on like, if it's a moment game and you got to make one right reading you lose. Yeah, but I don't lose solos, like full solo games against the computer. Like, that's just stupid. But like the moments, I've, I've lost moments. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like when you don't, when you're down nine and bro, they're like, yeah, it's a snowstorm and all kind of craziness like that. And it's all, all Madden and the computer just feels like sticking it to you. Yeah, you're going to lose those type of games, but you should not be losing solos. All right, guys. So let's just, let's just uh, make sure that we're clear with that. Uh, run inside zone. And um, on defense, you can run two man QB contain, you know, uh, baseline show blitz, do st dumb stuff like that. The computer would think that you're doing like, other type of stuff and then they'll let you keep going or whatever like they'll, they'll throw the ball right to you because everybody knows qb contain is straight lock up as long as i'm not the guy running it it's straight lock up you know what i'm saying bro but if i run it i'm getting straight dotted and, and that's pretty much what it is uh but it works it works against the computer and right now with the new patch a lot of weird things work like right there i don't even know what i was doing right there i just, I just came out of like a 3 4d and just blitzed the guy off the edge and he just ran in but that'll happen like once you know what I'm saying? It's going to happen once. It's not going to happen every time. And a lot of the blitzes that have been patched, they try to look, they look like they're coming in and they never come in. So you got to just be, you got to be confident, bro. Just know that the game has been patched 
so that nothing will happen to you. And just stand there because if it comes in, it's not gonna come in every time. And if it does, sliding left and sliding right usually works like completely. You don't have to see, I don't, I don't think I've pinched um, since the patch. I'm not sure though, but either sliding right or sliding left is all I've done. And it completely picks up every blitz, no matter what they're doing. Once you see what side they're coming from and stuff like that. So um, I would just recommend I guess computer running two-man QB container or just running stock defenses, bro, and just coming out and just seeing what's good because that's pretty much what the patches are forcing you to do is to run stock defenses. And, um, you know, pretty much you could test out my theory by running Engage 8. If you run Engage 8, you'll get no pressure. I'm, I must be honest with you because I've tried it and nobody comes in. So you still have time to throw the ball. And obviously, you know, if a dude's running Engage 8, you could just throw it anywhere in the slot, whatever like that, and it's, it's usually wide open. So, um... Right there, I was still experimenting with that 3-4-D, but right there, it didn't work. They blocked it. So we, you, you just have to continue to try different things like that. Eventually, something will come out that will, you know, help everybody that's trying to just do whatever because it just seems mad weird. For all my dudes that blitz, that want that wild uh, Michael Scrape D and all kind of stuff like that, uh, it's just something about it, man. It's something about getting instant heat that makes Madden fun. And like I said, on the other hand, it's a lot of guys going to be like, bro, it's cheating and stuff like that. And I understand both sides. D don't get me wrong. It's just that when guys write stupidness, I ban them or block them and stuff like that because it's stupid. You could still make your point without being a jackass. You know what I'm saying? You could just say, look, bro, I prefer it like this. You don't got to say, oh, bro, F this. Yo, mother F it. You dumb as F. Like when you start doing stuff like that, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to entertain it. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like I'm not gonna respond to it, so I might as well just delete it so somebody else doesn't respond to it and keep it going on forever. And then I might as well block you and try to find your moms and bang her in the mouth. You see what I'm saying? Like all these things transpire because guys don't know how to communicate. But I hear you from both sides. Cause I've actually played guys that refuse to, he just throw the ball right to the guy's helmet. I've actually played guys that refuse to blitz and then, I, and then got on the mic with me arguing about me blitzing. Then I explained to them about why I blitz. And like, oh, okay, I'm gonna blitz now. Like, you know, some people just don't wanna do it because they think like it's like taboo. It's all like thinking about anal, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, people just don't do it because they're like, yo, bro, it's not right, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make it, like, bro, it, it, it's whatever your preference is. Like, bro, whatever, like, I wanna come right in, dog. So whatever I gotta do to come right in, I'm gonna come right in. And you have to do whatever you have to do to pinch your butt cheeks so I don't get in there. That's the way, you know, it should be like a game of chess. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see, you gotta see it in advance. So once you come out and you see your dude running an O that you already know your blitz can come in on, you gotta be ready and prepared to do it. But on the other note, I hear the other guys that don't wanna slide protect, they wanna be lazy, they don't wanna do anything, they just want the, the line to come out and just be smart and block always to the right side. See that, I understand that. That, that that's something that they want and that's, that looks like what they're getting because every, why else would you be patching the game three times? You know what I'm saying? And not doing anything about the actual gameplay. And I'm still getting mossed by termites. It's because people are complaining about getting blitz, which doesn't make any sense to me when you could be focusing on other things. But that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is we're, we're out here trying to get Mike Vick and um, we should never lose solo challenges. If you watch my videos, you should never lose a solo challenge because I'm going to always tell you every year how to beat the computer in solo challenges. I'm telling you right now, run inside zone, run it down their throat. If you got to go and pick up some cheap blockers, bro, the, the, cheapest, the, the cheapest tight ends have the most block strength. Pick them up, run the damn ball, get whatever you gotta get, beat your solos, and move on. And like I said, the moments are difficult because sometimes you're down 10 with no time left. You know what I'm saying? It's just mad dumbness that goes on, bro. But you should never be losing solos. So it is what it is with that. We're almost closing out to get this Mike Vic. The only thing I don't like about Vic though is that he has a crazy windup. Like he throws the ball mad accurately deep. I give him that. Like he, he rarely throws the balls uh, uh, anywhere out of bounds to me, like other quarterbacks have. But he takes forever to wind up. Like right there, that's, what the hell is that? All right, that probably doesn't look too good for me saying that, but he's gonna tackle me, he fast as hell. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not worried about that, I knew he's gonna tackle me, but yeah, that's the only thing about it. He has a crazy wind up, because I'm always throwing the ball deep. I don't care about aggressive catching and all that craziness. I just wanna rack, I wanna rack you, dog. Like I want rack like your mom's breast, dog. Like that's how much rack I want. So that's what I look forward to doing. So either way, this one's over. Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and unlock Mike Vick. And um, like I said, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, Twitter, liking me on Facebook, it's all G Myers World, dog. It's all G Myers World. It's in the description box. Instead of asking so many questions, I put the information in the description box. Read, my brothers and my sisters. You know, people have noticed. You know, girls have notified me that they watch my channel as well. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, just read, read it. You'll see all the information is there for you. 
um, and you can find everything out. So there he goes right there. That's Mike Vick, man. Boy, was he a beast, dog. I just wish he didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, kill all them damn dogs. Well, I don't know if he was actually killing them, but I know that his cousin testified that he saw him, like, just put one out of his misery. Um, but it was something about the, you know, we're all brought up in certain situations, and that was something that he was used to since being a kid. And if nobody really tries to make him understand that, you know, doing it, you know, that's not right. Uh, it's hard for you to break out of it, man, by yourself. A lot of people can't do certain things like that, man. And I feel for Vic, and I'm glad that he's able to rebound and come back. And I wish him nothing but the best. But we're about to go out here and get it with this dude, Michael Vic. Until next time, one love.